the other night, James Harden basically said a big F you to the Houston Rockets and basically said that he's done all he can do, can't be fixed, and basically alluding to that he wants to be out. Um, so we're going to do that. And we're going to try and see what the Rockets should do to trade James Harden and how they should rebuild. But before we get into that video, I want to say thank you again for 2,000 subscribers. How to enter the giveaway is in my community tab, but I will also post it up on screen here and let you know. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and either in that community tab post or any video between now and Sunday's video, you need to put in the comment section either your Instagram or your Twitter so I can get a hold of you if you want. Now, if you don't have either of those, I've seen some people saying that, just let me know that you want to be entered into it. And then if you win, I will find a way to connect with you, whether that's like Discord or email or something. We'll figure it out because if you're the rightful winner, I want you to win. I want everybody to have a chance to get in the giveaway, regardless of if you have Twitter, Instagram, but that's the easiest way. So if you do have one, um, let me know and that's how you get entered into it. But you have to be subscribed and I will be checking for proof. So do not forget to do that. So if you're not subscribed yet, hit that sub button. Also drop a like in today's video and comment down below what you think the most realistic trade to happen for James Harden is. Now let's get into it. Hold up. As you can probably tell already, this video was recorded before the Rockets traded James Harden to the Brooklyn Nets. So let's all just step back, pretend that this video is a video of an experiment of what happened if the Rockets traded Harden somewhere else. Because I recorded this video, I enjoyed recording this video, I'm editing this video, a trade has already happened and I got the wrong trade, I do not care, I want to upload this video and I hope you guys want to watch it. I will be doing the real thing, I will be rebuilding the Rockets and the Nets, so don't worry about it. But watch this video, all the way through, watch the whole thing, it's enjoyable, you will like it, I promise. Thank you guys. Alright, so we have James Harden here, um, he's a 96 overall, we should be able to get a good trade for him. Um, I'm guessing a trade in 2k here is gonna be better than one we can get in real life But I don't know that for sure. So we're gonna check it out But first I want to go to team Intel and just make sure that we are not buying I want to change it to Should I change it to? Hmm I don't know. Let me make sure James Harden's not untouchable too um, Add to untouchables. Okay, so he's not untouchable. Let's just see if there's good trade offers for him and we'll just we'll just go from there. So we'll trade James Harden, uh, Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, Kobe White, Otto Porter, Colin Sexton, Andre Drummond, Jalen Brown, and Kemba Walker. They would be lucky to get Jalen Brown, I think. Um, but to get them both would just be ridiculous. Paul George and Serge Ibaka, Donovan Mitchell and Mike Conley, Vucevic, Kristaps, Fred VanVleet, Demar Derozan, Dejounte Murray. DeAndre Ayton and Devin Booker. And I don't think this would happen because Chris Paul, James Harden already played together. By the way, too, this is not a realistic rebuild. There is no way that the trade I make is probably going to happen in real life. So I'm not saying this is realistic. I'm not aiming for it to be realistic. I'm just trying to have some fun. But Shea Gilgis, Anthony Edwards, D'Lo, CJ McCollum, Yusuf Nurkic, Clay Thompson, and James Wiseman. So the trades I'm interested in is this one. That one would be super good. Uh, another one I saw that would be good was this one and then I also don't mind this trade But the Devin Booker DeAndre Ayton one just seems too good to pass up So we're going to make that trade James Harden is gone. He is out of here He's done everything for the city. He says so get him out. He can go to Phoenix. I don't care um, Yes, like I said Chris Paul's there it's not gonna happen in real life, but it's happening here and I'm fine with that So let's go to the the rotation we got John Wall, Devin Booker, then we have DeAndre Ayton there, which means with Ayton there, we can do this. Christian Wood can become our power forward, and he's an 86 overall. Yeah, so that's really solid. John Wall, he's old and his contract's bad. I'm going to see if we can trade him. Um, I like John Wall. If you guys are a fan of TKE, if you're a fan of me, you know John Wall is my favorite player in the entire league. But you also know that I understand that he's probably not going to get better in 2K. And if we throw a pick out there, um, we can probably get something better. So let's see what we can get for John Wall. Try and capitalize on some value while he's not terrible. Um, D'Angelo Russell and Ricky Rubio. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, D'Lo and Ricky Rubio coming to the team. Uh, both the Timberwolves point guards are here. That's a fun team. That is a really fun team. D'Lo and Booker. Uh, Daniel House, Christian Wood, DeAndre Ayton. Okay, so we need a small forward. I wonder what the trade market is like for DeAndre Ayton. I would love to keep him, but if the trade market is just like too good, I'd be willing to I'd be willing to trade him. Uh, Drew Holiday, Rudy Gobert. I don't really want to do that because DeAndre Ayton's so young. He's gonna be probably as good as Rudy here in a couple years. Dinwiddie, Blake Griffin, Fred VanVleet, Devin Vassell, Juancho Hernan Gomez. Yeah, definitely not. All right, I think we're gonna keep him. So we just gotta find ourselves a uh, nice small forward in the starting lineup. So how do we do that? Who's the person we trade to do that? Ricky Rubio, maybe? Trade Ricky and Daniel House and see if we can get a decent small forward. I'm um, also trade this pick swap with Miami. It's not that valuable to me. So is there a small forward that we could get? Or a shooting guard, maybe, and we could, you know, put uh, Devin Booker at the small forward. We can do that. Or if there's a point guard that's really good, we could do that also. But I would prefer to get a small forward. I'm not falling for the Robert Covington trap again. All right, so there's nothing there. Um, what if we just did Daniel House and this first? Maybe the Ricky Rubio thing is a little too much money to find somebody decent. Uh, maybe not, though. Maybe we do need to do something like that. Okay, so that's not the move. Let's see if trading just Ricky and a first. Actually, no. Let's do that 2021 first again, I think. Does that have good value or am I just like not understanding it? How much value does it even have? It has one and a half stars. Okay, so we might be able to find a decent small forward here um, or point guard or shooting guard. Joe Harris at the small forward. That wouldn't be bad. I don't love the contract, but we could do that. I think we're going to do that. So Joe Harris coming to the team. Um, he's going to be that small forward for us this season. So I like this starting lineup. I like the bench so far. Um, it's not bad. We do need a backup point guard, though. So we're going to try and trade um, Ben McLemore to do that. Yeah. Okay, so Ben McLemore is going to get traded, try and get a backup point guard. And we're probably going to run this season and see what happens. So Ben McLemore and a second, two second round picks, see what we can get. If we can get a solid backup point guard, that's definitely what I'm hoping for. There's Mac Biombo, we don't need him. Wow, there's going to be nothing for point guards, is there? Damian Lee is a shooting guard. Um, okay. Maybe we try and trade, instead of McLemore, we try and trade uh, Chris Clemens and both of those seconds. Because he's a point guard. Sometimes if you put that position in, it helps you find trades for somebody else of that position. Uh, Quinn Cook's there. I might as well just keep Chris Clemens if that's the best trade that we're going to get. Campaign, he's been balling. He has been absolutely balling this year. So we're going to get Campaign and yeah. I think that's going to be our lineup. We're going to run 10-man. Steven Silas is going to stay our coach. All right. I feel pretty solid about this. I feel pretty good about this team. Uh, the starting lineup is just stacked for the most part, except for our small forward. So I think that's it. Let's just make sure that our um, system is good because we need to have a solid system. Four stars at seven seconds. Yeah, that's, that's the best one. So we're going to simulate this year. Hopefully, we are one of the top teams in the playoffs already but i guess we'll see i'll see you guys at the end of season number one all right so season's over luca won mvp lamella ball won rookie of the year six man of the year goes to our big man demarcus cousins let's get it um other than that nothing too crazy i do see we are conference ranked five so we're gonna be the five seed so we do not have home court advantage but james harden does go and make all nba first team on the phoenix suns do we have any rockets on any all nba teams it does not appear we do uh, defensively, we also do not, and then rookie teams, we do not. So, we don't have any awards other than DeMarcus Cousins making six man of the year. We're the five seed. Let's check out these stats, and we'll get into the playoffs. So, 21 a game for Booker, 21 a game basically for D'Lo. DeMarcus with 16, Aiton with 14. Uh, Eric Gordon looks solid. He's probably going to get traded. Um, Christian Wood looked fine. 10 rebounds and 12 points is actually really good. Um, okay. 
So with that being said, let's simulate this round against the Clippers. Their team, I think we can beat, um, but we just got to make sure that we take care of business. So I'm going to simulate probably game by game here because it is a close matchup. Uh, we take the second game after they took the first. They're up 2-1. They're up 3-1. All right, they're going to win this one. They do beat us in five games. So let's simulate the rest of the playoffs. We'll see who wins the championship. This offseason is the year, the offseason that we really make some big moves. Giannis wins finals MVP as the Bucks beat the Grizzlies. So with that being said, draft lottery. I don't have a draft pick at all. Um, but you know what? I wouldn't mind trying to trade for one. Um, but I guess we'll see what happens when we get there. We're going to fire our assistant GM and we are going to bring in Michael Williams. We'll throw him like a million. He can't turn that down. And then our trainer, we're going to fire and we're going to bring in Randy Martin. I'll also throw him like, I don't know, 700K. And we got our assistant GM and we got Randy Martin. Perfect. Our assistant coach too, we got to fire and we got to bring in. Um, I don't mind that other assistant coach, but we got to bring in Trent Peterson for this role. Hopefully he accepts and he does. Okay, perfect. So that being said, NBA draft is here. I doubt we're going to find a trade I want to do for one of the top picks, but we will see. So what's the fifth pick going to cost from the Thunder? D'Lo, not going to do that. What about the seventh pick from the Warriors? They don't want to do it. Twelfth pick? They also don't want to do it. Okay, we're not going to be able to find a good one then. So we'll just simulate to the end of the draft. We'll go without a rookie. That's fine. We are trying to win a championship. We are not trying to build around some rookies. So rookie signing, obviously we don't have anybody. Team player options, Aiton and Caboclo will accept both of those two. Uh, qualifying offers, Sterling Brown, yeah. Broderick Thomas, nah. Mason Jones, sorry. I actually don't mind Mason Jones. I liked him coming to the draft, but nah. Um, so free agency is here. We aren't going to have enough money to sign like anyone. Let's see who we have bird rights on. PJ Tucker and um, Sterling Brown. PJ Tucker is going to go down and overall, so I'm not going to do it. Sterling Brown, don't need him, so I'm not going to do that either. I would rather just find people that we can afford and see if we can bring in anybody uh, solid. So like uh, Langston Galloway would be okay. JJ Reddick's a little too old. Bryn Forbes might not be bad. Um, and then point guard wise, man, there's nobody great. Um, Alex Caruso, we'll throw the GOAT a contract. Um, Oh, DeMarcus Cousins. Where is DeMarcus Cousins? I got to find him quick. So Cousins, I want to bring him back. He just won six man of the year for us, but we probably um, can't afford him. So let's just see. He wants 12 million. All we can give him is the minimum. Yikes. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get him back unless we make a trade. So let's see who we can trade um, to try and get some of that money freed up. Eric Gordon, 18 million. We can throw him out the door. Do not need him for 18 million. If I can get a solid player on a cheaper contract, Kevin Porter Jr. would be amazing. Um, anybody else quick? Kevin Porter Jr. seems like the best option there because he only makes like $1 million, $2 million. Um, can we get DeMarcus Cousins now though? Because I don't necessarily want to like have Cousins to play him. I probably want to trade him. Um, Wow, we need a lot more money. What is our financial situation looking like? Um, how do I see that? I'm still so not used to this. Finances. Okay, salary cap breakdown. So we have negative $3 million. Joe Harris might have to get traded too. I'm not even going to lie. Because um, he makes a lot of money too. So let's see if we can trade Joe Harris here. And if there's something solid for him, we're probably going to make it as long as... It's a little bit less money. Eric Gordon makes more money. Beverly, Conchar, Chumo, Kiki. Roko makes a little bit less. Matt Thomas. I mean, you're talking like similar players. Obviously, Harris is better, but like play this. Like that might be a move we have to make simply because of how much money it would save us. Um, we could also like trade for a pick. But I'd like to, you know, Matt Thomas isn't bad. So we'll trade for him there. And we should be able to get um demarcus cousins now wherever he is at we're almost there okay we got to make like one more small move so who makes a little bit too much money that we could trade away man 
D'Lo maybe? Can we get something good for D'Lo? Um, I'm not set on keeping D'Angelo Russell if we can find something really good for him. Colin Sexton as the shooting guard wouldn't be bad. Tyler Hero, Rudy Gobert. Don't re I don't need a center. Darren Fox saves us about $2 million, and he's a little bit better than D'Lo. Uh, Chris Paul doesn't save us anything. Wiggins, heck no. I mean, do we get Colin Sexton and then figure out positions later? Possibly. That might not be a bad move. Um, but also maybe just getting De'Aaron Fox. It saves us like $2 million, but it's probably just enough to get us DeMarcus Cousins. So we're going to make that trade. And to get DeMarcus, I think we should be able to do it now. Yeah, we can. So I'm going to throw him that with the... Uh, I don't need to do a player option. We'll do this. And hopefully he accepts that. Um, he is agreeing to come to the team. Okay. So we have DeMarcus Cousins on the roster. That is perfect. Okay, I feel pretty good about that. Um, we just had to make that small move to make it happen. Who else could we bring in? Um, who could we have come back to the team? You know, let's bring PJ Tucker back, sure. And maybe Shaq Harrison. All right, and that's probably all we're going to do. So player progression-wise, who's getting better? Who is getting worse? I'm sure that P.J. Tucker is getting worse. Um, D-Book's up to a 90. Ayton's up to an 88. Christian Wood's an 87. 87 for Fox. And P.J. Tucker goes down to a 72. Kenyon Martin Jr. is a 72. That's cool. He went up five. Uh, Kevin Porter Jr. also went up four. Okay, so we're pretty solid there. I'm going to send some people to training camps. We'll get into the season. We'll make a few more trades because I think we need a little bit of help, but I think we're in a good spot. All right, so we have one too many players on the roster. I'm probably just going to cut Broderick Thomas. Um, whatever. Let's get into the season now. So this is what the rotation would look like. Uh, I love the starting lineup outside of Daniel House. I need to get a small forward. Um, and then the bench is pretty solid, but I still have picks and stuff to play with. So I'm probably going to run Kevin Porter Jr. to be my starting small forward he goes he stays at a 79 so that's perfect and he's there which means the starting lineup is good let's see if we can trade demarcus cousins for something solid uh he's an 81 overall we have all these picks so we'll do this pick and i'll do uh we'll just do a second and see if we can get something decent for demarcus uh, i don't really care what position anything off the you are absolutely kidding me Chris Middleton for DeMarcus Cousins. How do I, legitimately, how do I say no to that? Why am I getting such good trade offers for DeMarcus Cousins and a lottery protected first round pick? It doesn't make sense to me, but I'm not mad about it. I am not mad about this at all. Chris Middleton is coming to the team and he is now our starting small forward. Now the bench is full of small forwards, so we need to find some other positions, but that trade just made our starting lineup, like, unstoppable. Daniel House, we'll throw in this pick, see what we can get. Hopefully we get something that's not a small forward off the bench, and we'll be cool. Patrick Beverly, backup point guard. Bruno Fernando. Um, Joe Harris, I don't need this small forward. Uh, Patrick Beverly, we're going to do that. We also brought in a pick, so now we're going to trade away... Um, Matt Thomas. Actually, we could keep we could keep Thomas as our bench um, small forward because we can put Kevin Porter Jr. back at the shooting guard. So let's do that quick. Um, and that should be solid. So Kevin Porter Jr. at the shooting guard, perfect. And let's try to trade away uh, Alex Caruso and this first round pick and see if we can get like a backup center or power forward. Those are the two possessions we need. So Bruno Fernando could be like a backup center or power forward for us. Maxi Kleba has been amazing this year. Um, Jakob Pertl solid. Thaddeus Young. We're gonna get Jakob Pertl here. And then what is he? Is he a, I guess I don't know if he's a power forward or a center. He is a center, but we can run him at power forward if we find a better center. So the last trade we need to make is trading Sterling Brown for a power forward or a center. So let's try and do that. And I might actually throw in like Sterling Brown and Kenyon Martin Jr. with a first in the future and see if we can get power forward or a center. Um, Xavier Tillman is there and a first. Uh... I don't really love that to be honest 
Okay, what else could we do? Instead of doing that, let's try and do Jakar Sampson. Because he's a power forward, hopefully we get some better ones. Frank Kaminsky, I could run him at the power forward. I think that would work out fine. Uh, is there anything better, though? Jaleel Okafor. We're going to do Frank. He can play the power forward because he can shoot the ball. At least I think he can shoot the ball. Um, Yeah, he can shoot the ball. Okay, perfect. So this is what the rotation looks like for this season. Uh, the starting lineup is just ri ridiculously stacked. And the bench is actually pretty solid too, so I'm not complaining about that whatsoever. Uh, we have every position filled. We got a 10-man rotation. Steven Silas, still the coach. He's been doing well. We'll run the seven-second system for the second year. I am excited to see how good this team is going to be because we are stacked. The starting lineup looks unstoppable. Um, they might take a little bit of time to mesh, but it's going to work out. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, so the MVP of this season is actually James Harden in Phoenix. Um, whatever. It is what it is. But we are the number one ranked team in the conference, number two in power ranking. So let's see how we do this season. Do we have any Rockets on any All-NBA teams? We do not. Uh, defensively, we also do not. Okay, so that being said, we're number one seed out west, but I think the Nets had a better record than us out east. Let's just go. Uh, let's go check that quick. Uh, we were 55 and 27. They were uh, 62 and 20. So we are good. Um, I like what I like what this team did. Are we the best team in the league? Maybe not, but we are legitimately stacked up and down the roster. Uh, I love the the scoring output by these guys. Obviously, the bench isn't full of scores, but the starting lineup is just ridiculous. So we have Golden State here in round number one. That's a tough round one matchup, but I think we can do it. Uh, they take game one. We take game two. They take game three. We take game four. We take game five. And we do win. And we're going up against the uh, the New Orleans, excuse me, New Orleans Pelicans here. Uh, we should be able to beat this team, uh, but they might they might give us a fight. I'm not gonna lie. They got Zion and Brandon Ingram. That's a solid duo. They're up 2-1. We're tied 2-2. We're up 3-2. Uh, we're tied 3-3. Let's see if we can win Game Seven or if we got to come back next year. Dang, they got like a 15 point, 20 point lead on us here. Yep, they're gonna beat us unless we come out guns blazing here at the end of the fourth quarter, and we are not going to. Wow, we got to come back next year. Um, let's see what happens. Uh, the Memphis Grizzlies win the whole thing. John Morant is the finals MVP. And we got to come back next year. Draft lottery. I don't think we have a pick. Um, no, we do not. So let's go to staff signing. Head coach, Steven Silas has been great for us, I think. We'll throw him another contract. Hopefully he comes back. Assistant coach, we're going to try and hire Mike D'Antoni to be our assistant coach. We'll throw him like $3 million. Mike D'Antoni, come back as an assistant. That would just be an all-time funny move, honestly. Um, all right, we're going to bring in Owen Taylor, I guess. See if he comes back or comes to the team. He does. Perfect. So NBA draft, we don't have any draft picks. So we're not going to have any rookies. Um, so let's go to team player options. Kevin Porter Jr., we're going to accept that. Qualifying offers, DeAndre Ayton and Matt Thomas, of course. All right, so free agencies here. Who do we have bird rights on? All these guys. Okay, so we got to bring Ayton back for sure. We'll throw him whatever he wants. Um, I want to bring back Matt Thomas and Patrick Beverly. So we'll get those three to come back to the team. DeAndre Ayton is taking his qualifying offer. That is interesting, but I guess it is what it is. Um, let's look at the roster now. We have our starting lineup back, which is good. We also have most of our bench. So we're sitting pretty good. Let's just see who else we can bring in. Daniel House, sure. We'll throw him a contract. All right, he comes back, and I don't know. I don't think we need any of those other guys. So we're fine there. Let's go to player progression, see how everything turns out. Um, Aiton's our best player now. He's a 92. All right, this is looking awesome. I love to have Christian Wood on this team and keep him. He's an 89. I think he, I mean, he was actually on the Rockets when I started this rebuild, so I want to win him a championship. But I'm going to send some players to training camp. We'll get into the final season and we will see if we can win our championship. All right, so let's go take a look at the team right now. Also, I just got a notification that seems like James Harden's gonna get traded ASAP. Shams reporter, I'm gonna read it off right now. The Rockets are sifting through finalists, Nets and 76ers for a James Harden deal that could culminate quickly with Brooklyn preparing an offer of all its future first round picks and pick swaps. Wow. 
this, the, a trade could happen before I even get this video out to you guys, but like, that's crazy. If he gets traded, we will be doing a James Harden rebuild with whatever team he gets traded to. But let's take a peek at our rotation here. Uh, Chris Middleton's gonna get traded. We're gonna try and get somebody better. He always disappoints in 2K for some reason, and I still always try and get him um, because he overall fools me. But we're gonna take this pick and Chris Middleton and see if we can get a better small forward. Uh, John Collins doesn't play small forward, but I would love John Collins. Jamal Murray. I would be good with this because we could put Devin Booker at the small forward. Um, all right, let's get Jamal Murray. So Jamal Murray is going to come in. He's going to be our shooting guard. And Devin Booker is our small forward now. Let's look at the rotation because I think it's all 90s in the starting lineup. Except for Christian Wood, he's an 89. All right, and then the bench, we could upgrade a couple positions. Let's try and get a better small forward and a, get a point guard to come off the bench for us. So let's try and trade Matt Thomas and this first and this second and see if we can get a good either small forward or point guard. So Corey Kispert, he's a rookie. Joe Harris, we could come full circle, bring Joe Harris back. I think that's what we're going to do this time in a backup role, which is way better than a starting role for him. Um, on this team. Daniel House, a first and a first. Try and get me a backup point guard and we're gonna be good for the season. TJ McConnell's a 76, Ty Jerome's a 76. Uh, Kendrick Nunn, unfortunately he's a shooting guard. TJ McConnell, we'll go Ty Jerome here. All right, and let's get the rotation up and running. I think it's just gonna be really good. Um, so that's all I'm gonna do. Let's go ahead, let's check the system. Seven seconds, four and a half stars. That's perfect. I will simulate season number three. This is the year we win the championship. And if we don't, then, it, then it's just over, I guess. Um, I don't know. All right, our final season is over. Here are all of the awards. Um, we're actually the second seed in the West, so I don't know who's better than us, but it is what it is. So let's check out all these NBA teams. Um, I don't think I saw any Rockets in case I went too fast. Maybe I did. But Memphis is the number one team. Let's go check out the stats quick. Um, not league leaders. Let's go check out the team stats. Uh, so Devin Booker, De'Aaron Fox, Jamal Murray, DeAndre Ayton, Kevin Porter Jr. All looked pretty solid. Uh, the bench isn't the greatest bench I've ever assembled. And that might be selling us. But I want to check out the uh, standings and see... Okay, so we're just two games worse than Memphis. Well, let's see if we can meet up with them and beat them. Uh, this Timberwolves team is actually really good. Uh, let's see if we can beat them. Um, I'm just going to simulate by round. We beat them in only seven games. Wow, that is tough. Um, and then this is the next round. The Warriors, you know, just multi-champs. Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green. You know, no big deal. Uh, they beat us in game one and game two. And game three. Oh, God. We just got swept. I did not even win. I didn't even make it to the Western Conference Finals, I don't think, in this video. That is a big L. So, apparently, this is not how the Houston Rockets should rebuild after James Harden. But I'm going to title it that anyway. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This one was actually a ton of fun to make. I thought I built a good team. The starting lineup was stacked. But apparently, some teams are just too good for us. Um, you can't win them all. Not too disappointed. Thanks again for 2K. Let's get to 3K now. Always, always, always appreciate the support and the love. You guys are the best. Appreciate you, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.